What is happening to Grindavik is a story started millions of years ago. Nothing on this planet Earth, especially those ones which originate from the depth of the planet, happen at once. They take millions of years from the core of the Earth heat rising to the mantle, then mantle convection cells create cracks on the surface, what we call a vitrosphere or crust of the Earth, and splitting the Earth crust. In Iceland, we had one of those splitting points where the extension creates a oozing of the lava to the surface, creating land practically, new land. Eurasia and North American plate are separating from each other in Iceland. And through the cracks, we have multiple eruptions, different volcanic systems. We have them all in the Reykjanes Peninsula. This extension creates earthquakes, which fractures the ground. And as the ground fractures, we map them. Geologists' job is to map these fractures. We are publishing them. And through these cracks, wave action creates sinkholes, erodes the land, and surprisingly creates harbors, inlets of the sea in the land. We have uh, many of them around the Reckonance Peninsula, especially around the Grindavik. It's a fishing town. And because of these cracks eroding the land, we have harbors which are safe for mooring your ships during the storm and landing deep enough for the ship to come in and also being protected. It's so good it was that we actually, after an eruption 2,000 800 years ago, which was created this peninsula, we decided to dig through one of these uh, land bridges which already existed there and let the water come in. So we will have a safe harbor. It was so good the Americans built their uh, Navy's uh, telecommunication center in that part. And uh, we also built our town there. In 20th century, it grew Frequently cracks appeared in the surface, we plastered over them. Potholes appeared, we covered them. So everything looked all right. Occasional earthquake didn't deter us. We just repaired the holes, we filled them up. Everything looked nice. And uh, it was a business in a way, you can say. The cracks, filling the cracks was a, was a profitable business probably in, in some way. Everything looked merry and happy. Young population usually lives in three thriving towns. They don't have a memory of the earthquakes from the 1960s, 1950s. So the, nobody knows. And here we come 2021. A swarm of earthquakes creates the uh, Pegadesville eruption. And 2023, November, we have earthquakes reactivating these cracks. The fault lines rising again, falling again. And all those things we built superficially over these fault lines over the many years, decades probably, they all become reactivated by the fault lines. They gasp, and we saw the cracks all over the town. People lost their life falling into these cracks, trying to repair them. You know, Grindavik practically is going through the same process that millions of years ago he created it as a harbor. Is eroding it away again. And we were up to now joyfully thinking there is nothing there and we can just do whatever we like. We are falling to these uh, pit holes. None of those good days of the old probably will return ever. And this is what is happening to Grindovic. Cracks appearing, reactivated, and there is no memory of them among the younger population who don't remember anything of the events of the past.